Hey, I'm Fiona. I'm going to show you how to make these armor tokens for Keyforge. These are double-sided, so you can track when one of your cards has armor and when it's used up. I just finished a game of Keyforge where my opponent had two Abound the Armorsmiths out. I had Martian creatures that were giving each other armor, and it was so much to keep track of that we even actually ran out of these. So I need to go make more and I will show you how to do it. All right, to start out, we're just gonna load up the SVG file into the Glowforge user interface. Now it's gonna warn you about text. You don't have to worry about that. That's just the credit for the icon design. Now, once you have the SVG imported, you can kind of drag that to wherever you have a free space on your material. Now you'll see that uh, the two sides are actually kind of all lined up here. We've got two engraves and two cuts over down the side. So there's the full armor, the cracked armor, then the cut for the outline, and then the cut just kind of for the square. So for the first side, what we need to do is turn off the cracked armor and turn off the outline that's going to cut out all the individual tokens. So what this will give us is an engrave of the full armor and then it's going to cut out that those 12 just kind of is a big chunk. So here we go on the laser cutter. So that's one side printed and now we need to flip it over to the other side. So if we don't move the SVG and we keep the wood in exactly the same spot then the engraves on the other side are all going to line up perfectly with the engraves on this side. So we have to kind of pick this up. Um, if you have tape, <laughs> tape might be the best, but you can pry it up as well. Now with my other hand here, I'm bracing the wood, the frame, that's a guide. So I'm bracing that so it doesn't move at all. So all I need to do is just flip this over and put it back in its exact same spot. Because we know that's going to line up with the SVG in the web browser. All right, we're back in the Glowforge interface and, uh, oh, just got to fix the basswood there. Now you can see it, it does actually line up pretty well with the image of the bed. That's because we're pretty locked on center, but this technique works anywhere on the bed. We need to turn off the engrave that we already did. We need to turn on the engrave that we didn't do. We also need to turn on the cuts that'll cut out all the tokens. And we can turn off the rectangle since that's already been cut out. So once that's all in place, we can just print and this will go exactly where we want it. All right, cool. Now let's see how it all went. So we can open her up. We don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. There we go. Double sided. Perfect. All you gotta do is just uh, peel the paper off that and you're ready to play. Great, so that's that. If you end up making these, why don't you drop a line down in the comments and uh, let me know how it goes and how they are in your games of Keyforge. You can also head over to my website. The link is in the description. And I've got some other Keyforge tokens and accessories. I've got links to my Keyforge deck boxes, which use a top loader. You can 3D print these. But uh, yeah, see you on the Crucible.